Marley, thank you. You may have noticed them, two big empty buildings side by side along Sternberg Road near Muskegon's Lakes Mall. A judge ordered a developer, though, to stop work on what was supposed to be two motels after deciding the developer violated a no-compete clause with another hotel developer six miles away in downtown Muskegon. It's a strange legal drama that has left two shells of half-finished buildings abandoned and in danger of being torn down. News 8's Joe LaFerge sorts through it all. New tonight at 6. Well, as you can tell, nobody is swinging a hammer here today. The fate of these two motels remains up in the air. The large gray hulks of unfinished buildings are starting to draw the curious. Never seen anything like this before around here. They were supposed to be new motels, but a judge halted the work back in June. It's all over a no-compete clause tied to the owner of the newly renovated Delta by Marriott, located in downtown Muskegon near the site of the new convention center, now under construction. That developer, John John Rooks bought the former Holiday Inn in 2013 from developers out of the Detroit area. Because he planned to invest millions in the hotel, Rooks required and the sellers agreed to a no-compete clause. They couldn't open a hotel in a 14-mile radius of downtown for 15 years, long enough for the Delta by Marriott to get established without the sellers turning around and becoming competitors. Rooks has put about $10 million into the hotel so far. These photos he provided show some of the renovations. Rooks also placed a self-imposed room tax to help fund the new convention center. But in March of this year, Rooks discovered an alleged backer of the two Sternberg Road motels was one of the developers who sold him the old Holiday Inn. Rooks contends that the developer, Malik Abdulnor, took on a silent role in the two motel projects, that his name was off the paperwork even though he was a major financial backer of the hotel. So Rooks took him to court. And in June, a Muskegon County Circuit Court judge agreed Abdul Noor violated the no-compete clause, directing the defendants to disable, remove, or demolish the buildings and structures they created on the Sternberg Road property. Abdul Noor can't sell them to another hotel developer either. Rooks says he's also open to allowing the buildings to be used for something other than motels, say apartments. In the meantime, the half-finished motels sit empty. It's very sad. It's sad for the whole community What, when we're trying to develop and our community. We reached out to the defendant, but we haven't heard back. In Fruitport Township, Joe Lafergie, News 8.